welcome to another DBSOM tutorial series. Today we're going to see how to create more rules. On the left side menu, we're going to go to Audit, and we're going to go to Manage Rules. After the page loads, we're going to go, we have this screen. So we have Add Rules, Delete Rules, Run Rules, and More Actions button, which is the drop-down menu and has Schedule Rule, Mass Update, Export, and Import. Let's go ahead and create a new rule. And we can see we have different kinds, business context, foundational, process quality, timeliness, and system integrity. So we can see in business context, we have unique values, uniqueness, do not use, and value range. For example, let's go ahead and pick value range. We are going to get the screen. So we're gonna put a rule description We're going to go ahead and select a data source. We're going to go ahead and check a table name. This is the table we're going to be working on. And for the field name, we're going to go ahead and select quantity. And we're going to click and it's going to throw us a specific range. Let's say we want everything from one to nine to be valid. Otherwise, we can make it invalid. You can also say only a single value or range value. You can select the severity. You can select a rule group. You can select remarks if you want and who is assigned to. After that, you just click save. After this, you can see your rule has been created. So let's go ahead and run the rule. As we can see, we have 988 exceptions. This means the table is really bad information. And this is the quantity is not between one and nine. So as you can see, we're gonna go to the analysis tab and we can see all the 10 is in red because we said we want to make the 10 an exception. And this is the way you can start creating more rules. You can create many different kinds of rules. Let's go ahead and create another kind of rule. We're gonna go to manage rules and we're gonna select add rule, business context, and we're gonna go ahead and check unique values. We're going to put our in description. We're going to select our data source. We're going to select our table name. And we're going to select the field. Let's go ahead and choose shipment ID. Since this is a unique value, we don't want any threshold minimum or threshold maximum. We're going to select our severity. We're going to select who is assigned to, and we're going to go ahead and click save. After that, we can see our rule has been created and we can go ahead and run our rule. As you can see, the rule has run successfully. Readiness score is 100 and we have 989. This means all of them is unique. None of them are duplicated. This way, you can create as many rules as you possibly need for as many tables you need. Just remember, each rule has to be created separately. The only one that can go together is a data completeness one that goes with blanks and value ranges. And you create that one from the profile tab. This is it for today's video. I hope you enjoy and see you next time.